This is National 5 homework exam type questions. So this is question 16 and I've got uh, three parts to this. First part is uh, a third. Express it in its simplest form. So let's go ahead and do that. Right then, so root 32. So I'm looking for a square number and a number that multiplies together to get 32. So I've got 4 and 8, but uh, that wouldn't give me my the finished answer. What I would be looking for is I'd be looking for uh, root 16 times root 2. So I'm looking for the biggest square number that I can use. So from there, what I've got there is 4 root 2 as a final answer. So to mark that one there, I would get uh, two marks. I'm going to go for one mark for that part there, one mark for that. If you've used uh, root 4 and root 8, then you probably gain one mark if you haven't simplified it down fully. So that would be one out of two for that one. Right, so what we're going to do is simplify this part here. I'm going to multiply out some indices. So first of all, remember when I'm multiplying indices, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them. So I've got 8 to the power of 2 plus minus 5 if I write it out in full, plus, and that's going to be 4 times a squared. Okay. I'm going to simplify this down here, and what I've got there is 8 minus 3, and that's going to be plus 4a squared. Okay, it doesn't ask me to leave it with a positive index, so I'm going to leave it like that, and that would be my final answer. So, one mark here, and one mark there. So, two marks for that one. Okay, next question. We're going to be, our next part of the question, we're going to be multiplying out a, a double bracket, or a, a, or a two-part bracket, and a trinomial that's here. So, first of all, I'm going to prepare it first. So, the x that's here, I'm going to put here. I'm going to write down this full bracket. Then I've got a minus 2 here, so I'll put minus 2 there. I'll write down this full bracket again. All I've got here is a single bracket to multiply out, so I'll go ahead and do that. So it's going to be x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x. I've now got minus 2 times x squared, so it's minus 2x squared. Minus 2 times 3x will give me minus 6x. And minus 2 times a minus 4 will give me a plus 8 towards the end there. Last thing I need to do is to gather things all up. So I've only got uh, one term with x cubed, so that'll be x cubed there. I'm looking at the x squared term, so there's an x squared term in there. So 3 subtracted 2 will give me plus x squared. If I look at my x terms here, so I've got minus 4 and minus 6, that'll give me minus 10x. And finally I've just got plus 8 on at the end there. Right, the way this will be marked will be one mark for multiplying out the first part of the bracket here, and then another mark for multiplying this part out, and finally a mark for gathering it up correctly there. So this question here, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this will be out of 7 marks.